Hello, everybody. Holly Randall here, coming to you live from the AVN Expo 2023. I have the adorable Ryan Reed here. Um, we can already tell that we love her so much. Um, this episode is sponsored, of course, by Joy City, the new erotic metaverse, the future of the adult industry. Make sure that you go to joy.city and enter your email to be um, kept up to date on all of the updates, and there are a lot of them. Ryan, how are you doing? I am doing okay. Yeah? How are you doing? I'm doing great. I grabbed Ryan literally like as she was coming into the booth to sign for browsers. I was like, you're my four o'clock. She's like, you're what? coming with me. <laughs> Just like grabbed her. So kind of startled her, but I think. I was scared. I'm not going to lie. I, was, <laughs> I thought I was in trouble already. I knew I was going to get in trouble, but like not that quickly. <laughs> so, so yeah, this is, so it's the beginning. Avian is literally starting for you right now, right now. Right this second. Yeah. It's my first thing I'm doing in AVN 2023. Let's fucking go. Yeah, well, this is setting the stage for you. So I'm this ready. amazing experience means that the rest of your AVN is going to go great. Fuck yeah. <laughs> so how, okay, so you were at the last AVN, the, the one that before the whole world changed and COVID came along. I know you've only been here for a few minutes, but do you feel like a different vibe at this one? Oh, hell yeah. I feel like everyone's like been stuck in these little cages. So everyone's like even crazier right now. So there's definitely a different vibe. Yeah. And like the different, it was like the hard rock for how many mm -hmm. years. So like yeah. the whole new vibe of being at a different place. Yeah. Even adds to it more. Yeah. We're at Resorts World now. What do you, do you like this new venue more or what do you think? Too early to tell maybe? Too early to tell. Yeah. Yeah. It depends on how many, I already have a blister from walking in these heels. Um, I know. I know. You're smarter than I am. I don't know how to walk in heels. Yeah, it's not. Uh, I don't either, which is uh, why my feet hurt so much. <laughs> Day one. You're in for it, honestly. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. I might just be. I might. I have extra sneakers. What size are you? Oh, I, my feet are so much bigger than yours. What size? I'm like. I'm now that I've had a kid. I'm like a ten. Oh. Yeah, you're probably like an adorable six. How do you know? Because you're adorable. Oh my god, stop! All like little adorable girls have little adorable six size feet. Thank you. You're right. <laughs> so, Ryan, how long have you been in the industry for? You're like fairly new-ish, right? Yeah, so I only did premium Snapchat and OnlyFans since I was 18. Mm -hmm. And then I've been with Spiegler for about a year and a half now. Mm -hmm. And how has that been? Like, have you Fucking noticed? Fucking amazing. The, I love it. Yeah? Oh, yeah? Tell us about maybe some of your favorite scenes that you shot in 2022. Ooh. I did a scene with, I want to say... It was it for Digital Playground. Okay. And we got to like perform like we were in a rave. Mm -hmm. And I got to do like a weird backbend and suck a dick while I got my pussy eaten out. And it oh, was wow. the coolest shit ever. Those backbend blowjob scenes are like, are rare. There's not a lot of girls that can do that. That used to be like me and Malkova's specialty, I remember. It's really fun, but you kind of get like waterboarded by your spit because you're like upside down and all of your sl <laughs> like slobber is just going in your nose. It's, yeah, it's that, kinky. That sounds that's it's definitely that kinky. sounds like it's not really sustainable for too long. I like a little torture. Yeah. It's okay. Makes you feel alive. Yeah. In the moment. Stand back up, you're a little light at it, but you're <laughs> fine. Just turn around and take the dig. What are your favorite kind of scenes to shoot? Like boy girl, girl girl, threesomes? The more the merrier. So definitely like threesomes, boy boy girl. Yeah. I got a lot of holes to fill. <laughs> What's kind of nice about boy, boy, girl, I find versus like boy, girl, girl is that, you know, because usually, usually, not always, in boy, girl, boy, boy, girl scenes, the guys aren't really interacting with each other. So it's all about you. Whereas when boy, girl, girl, the girls interact with each other. So I find that sometimes, I don't know, somebody sometimes feels a little left out if the vibe like doesn't work with everyone. But the men can always be left out. Yeah, that's true. The girls should always be at center of attention. That's true. Uh, speaking of girls, are there any favorite female performers that you have? Anybody on your bucket list you haven't worked with yet? Liz Jordan. Okay. Is she that, just got with Spiegler. Is that bucket list or have worked with? Bucket list. Okay. By the end of this week. Okay. For sure. Yeah? Yeah. Do you guys have a scene set up, or are you just going to um, fuck her because you guys are both at AVN? <laughs> I think I'm just going to fuck her because we're both at AVN. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> Reasons why you should come to AVN, because <laughs> you might get some random girl to fuck you. 
I mean, you, you know, you work hard all day, you got to play hard too. Yeah. yeah. Really stress reliever. Yeah. Nice orgasm at the end of the day. Yeah. Anybody else? I mean, Riley Reed. She's my all time favorite. Fucked her so many times. Yeah. You guys have worked together a bunch, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Personal what's, life and real life. We're always fucking. <laughs> what's your favorite thing about her? Her personality. Yeah. She's just a sweetheart. And, like, will do anything for the people she cares about. Yeah. So I love her. That's a hard, that's a hard quality to come by. Yeah. What about male talent? What are some of your favorite male performers? Cool. I really want to fuck Owen Gray. Okay. Haven't done that yet. Yeah, I've heard he's great. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, who else do I like fucking? Isaiah Maxwell's a really good fuck. He's lovely. He smells good. Yes, he does. He always smells he good. He does really always smell good. It's weird. Yeah. Um, I think that's, like, all. Okay. I've been, like, really liking pussy. Okay. So, it's yeah. hard to... Hard to and there's say so many girls like, in the industry too so, and to like work hot. with. They're yeah. really hot. Yeah, definitely. I'm getting horny from this conversation. <laughs> Am I allowed to say that on here? Yeah, I mean, you said so much worse already before I'm that. So, so sorry. yeah, you're good. No, it's fine. You can say whatever you want. If I was going to try to do a show about interviewing adult stars and then trying to edit what you guys say, like this show would go nowhere. It'd be like a 30 second clip. Yeah, I'd be like, oh, bleep that out. Can't talk about any of this shit. No, you can say whatever you want. Do you have any um, New Year's resolutions? It is the first week of 2023. I want to start reading books. Okay. Is that weird? No, not at all. I think like no, people don't really read these days. Do you have any book recommendations? What do you like? I don't know yet. I haven't like even like I can't say even in school I've never finished a book. Hmm. Okay. So I'm open. Okay. Whatever. I mean, you know, there's like the self help books that are really great. Um, obviously, there's then there's just random entertainment like uh, murder or mystery or. I don't, I'm not a big fan of murder. Not a big fan. Of no. Murder. I don't like no. scary movies either. Okay. Then you probably aren't interested in like a thriller. No. See, I mean, I was an English major, so a lot of my favorite books are really, like, kind of obnoxious, like, old classics like Jane Eyre and, yeah, you know, Weathering Heights. I'll let you know if I read any of them. Which is kind of, like, I don't know if, I don't know if that's so interesting for you. Um, I'm trying to think of a really great book that I've read recently. I can't think, I mean, even me, who was an English major, like, I don't read books anymore either. That's why I'm like, I want this year to be the year that I start reading. Mm -hmm. I feel like it's good for your mental health. It's like self-care. Yeah, I'm no, gonna definitely. sit down, I'm going to read a book, and I'm going to enjoy myself. I will say that, like, when I do read, I read, like, really kind of trashy, um, like, thrillers, like, detective murder mysteries. Maybe but it sounds like that's not into. your thing, though. It might be. Yeah, I don't maybe. like scary movies, but maybe I'll like scary books. Yeah. I mean, I feel like they're less, like, in yeah. your face. I don't like a jump scare. Yeah. It's not like really that. like that. Oh. No. Okay. Um, what else? Anything else? Um, I want to get another dog. What but that's dog? not really a New Year's resolution. No. But I told myself this year I was going to get another dog. What kind of dog do you have? I like... Okay, I have a rescue pit bull, and I want another rescue pit bull. Oh, that's great. So that's There's a lot of really amazing dogs out there that need homes, and I'm really... I love the fact that you're, like, into rescues. I refuse really to pay money for a dog. Yeah, I'm the same. There's so many dogs. Yeah, we all... We do rescues, too. They're the, the same. Best. Yeah. Okay, a uh, couple of quick fire off questions before I send you back to your browsers. Yes. What's your greatest fear? Scary movies. <laughs> um, what is your dream first date? Take me out of the country. Out of the. Wow, that is for your first date. Yeah. Your first date. I like it risky. Can it be like Mexico? Yeah. Can it be somewhere close? Yeah. Okay. Are you going to take me? Is this, um, is this you asking me on a first date? Well, I mean, that's just me being, like, <laughs> reasonable about wanting to go out of the country for our first date. <laughs> but I guess you could meet, like, some baller who could, like, you know, take you on a plane to fucking Bali. I mean, there's people out there like that. That's what I want. <clears throat> Are you manifesting this for 2023? I am. What Someone's about... going to watch this, and they're going to take me on a first date to Bali. Fantastic. I love, I, I love that for you. Thank you. I'll send you a postcard. Okay. <laughs> What about travel? Are there any places that you're dying to go to that you haven't been to? In case somebody is watching who's going to take Bali. you on your first date <laughs> to out of the country. Bali, for sure. Bali, yeah, it's a beautiful place. 
Oh, yeah. I've been there. I loved it. Oh, jealous. I will say, though, what will make you sad? A lot of stray dogs. Oh, I want a lot of dogs at me. <laughs> when I went there, I actually wished that I had brought, like, a box of biscuits. Oh. And then I went, went around and I couldn't, like, find anywhere that, like, sold dog biscuits. I'd be, like, buying meat and, like, cooking it and, like, feeding them. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, it's like that. But it's a beautiful, it's a beautiful country. Well, Ryan, thank you so much for joining us. Thank um, you so much for having me. You're winning the awards on Saturday night, right? Fuck yeah. And you're up for best ass. And then, what's the other one? Best girl, girl. Fantastic. Well, I wish, you, <laughs> I wish you the best of luck. And can thank you tell everybody where they can find you online? You can find me on Twitter, xxx for keeps and OnlyFans, she for keeps Fantastic. Thanks, guys, so much for watching. Don't forget to go to joy.city and sign up to keep abreast of all of the new updates to the world's first erotic metaverse. Thank you so much for watching.